After days of uncertainty, the Constitutional Court has finally closed the lead on the Quacha Constraints in Nullification. The Court has found that the incumbent John Malangi, also known as Bonanza for his generosity to the electorate in his constituency, in his absence, Constitutional Court Vice President Margaret Mnalula, on behalf of other judges, wrote that High Court Judge Azimbe Chenda did not err when he passed judgment that Mr. Malangi was not eligible to contest for the 2021 quarter parliamentary election in the absence of a grade 12 certificate, which is one of the requirements. Judge Munalula said Mr. Malangi had a chance to prove that he had the said documents at the time of his re-election, but did not do so, neither is there evidence on records of appeal. In an exclusive interview with Movie TV, Former Foreign Affairs Minister Joe Malangi said he actually possesses the said school document. A great deal of speculation. And um, it is quite disappointing uh, to find that the courts where we feel we can find justice are actually uh, giving a judgment of this nature that has been uh, given today. To start with, um, I would actually like to commend uh, Justice Mungeni Mulenga and the other um, who actually uh, upheld the rule of law by giving uh, a ruling that was uh, precise to uh, the Constitution. Uh, it's very unfortunate that we can get such a ruling uh, from the Concord because even when I was going to filing for nomination, I had all the necessary documents. I had the grade two. I had all what was required by the Electoral Commission of Zambia. So it is very unfortunate that we can get um, a ruling of um, this nature from the Concord. But one thing I can assure you is um, we shall go back to the and speaking shortly after the court hearing, PF Acting Secretary General Nicholas Chilangwa said, Though they will come the ruling, they are not happy with the decision made by the con court. Is that the burden of proof should not have shifted to Honorable Malandi. The person who complained and who brought this case to court should have proved beyond reasonable doubt that Honorable Malandi did not possess a good certificate. Well, the court has decided, so it's work and work, so she shall go back to Pacha. He who alleges, or, who, uh, or she who alleges, must prove to court beyond, you know, in election petition, you have a very high degree of evidence. The evidence must be conjured, meaning that it must be clear. So the allegation is that uh, Honorable Malangi did not have a great well, and that evidence was not brought before court. And the court should not necessarily expect that the one who's responded to clear that issue is the one who brought the matter to court who should show. And therefore, I call upon us, uh, we are calling upon all Zambians to look at the minority uh, opinion, and that's what is going to guide us. And you can see that there's a lot of merit in that, and there are a lot of things that we can So Generally, we are, we are very shocked, and uh, however, this is where we are coming in the you know, with our justice system and uh, uh, who got on the ground and they show that we retain the system. There was jubilation at the Corn Court grounds among members of the ruling United Party for National Development and 2021 Kwacha UPND losing candidate Charles Mulenga announced that he will recontest for the seat. I'm quite delighted about this. Yeah. Very, very happy because it vindicates me. It vindicates me. Uh, when I complained uh, 12 months ago that uh, my victory was actually stolen, yes, yes, yes. Um, you may be interested to know that uh, following the pronouncement uh, of uh, the poll results yes. on the 14th of uh, August in 2021, yes. I couldn't agree with uh, the results uh, because uh, I didn't believe that I'd lost. So I petitioned the matter through the uh, uh, High Court and I presented uh, 13 grounds to support my petition. Mm. And the presiding judge, Judge Chenda, actually agreed with me on two principal grounds. The first one had to do with uh, electoral misconduct, where bribery and corruption 
was quite widespread during mm -hmm. the period. And uh, also there was another uh, issue to do with eligibility, mm -hmm. where it was also proved that uh, uh, the Honorable Malange, mm -hmm. the PF candidate, mm -hmm. didn't possess uh, the grade 12 uh, uh, certificate. So on those principal <laughs> grounds, uh, the High Court uh, actually went and declared uh, the results, the electoral results of Honorable Malange as null and void. Now, of course, my colleague was not happy, so he actually appealed to the Concord, which today sat and actually uh, agreed with uh, uh, the High Court that uh, the Kwacha parliamentary seat still remains uh, nullified. Uh, and actually allowed an illegality to take place. I think that was very unfortunate. Just as the courts have actually come out very strongly that it didn't possess a great football certificate. So it is an indication that uh, already that is uh, an illegality. The ruling of the election of the Kwacha parliamentary seat is another setback for the opposition PF as they lost Kabushi parliamentary seat just a week ago. Now, many electoral stakeholders, including those from the ruling United Party for National Development, UPND, have questioned the integrity of men and women at the Electoral Commission of Zambia, ECZ, the organization mandated to oversee the affairs of the election in the country citing the cases of Boman Lusambo and Joe Malangi, whose seats have been nullified. While the Electoral Commission of Zambia did permit the two seats to recontest and file in their nomination, the question that many have asked is, is the former Chief Executive Officer Patrick Shindano not guilty of any crime? And if he is, what's next for him? Liambela Mutumba, Movie TV News in Lusaka.